studies have shown that the average person will check the lock screen of our smartphone for notifications at least a hundred times a day. One of the big reasons why people do this is because it's so easy. All you have to do is pull your phone out of your pocket or wherever it's at, press the power button to activate the display, and then bam, you can see your lock screen. This is usually where you will always see your notifications sitting, but it's also a way to quickly access a couple of applications. So by default on the Galaxy S9 and Galaxy S9 Plus, you see our lock screen has two icons the bottom left and bottom right of the screen by default the left one brings us right to the phone application and the one on the right will like, open up our camera application and to actually activate that you just need to tap and swipe and it brings up that specific application my Android has had this feature in the core AOSP for a while but not every Android device actually makes it easy to customize those two application shortcuts. Thankfully Samsung is one of the few OEMs that bake this feature directly into the software. And today I want to show you how to add, remove, and change the application shortcut icons in the bottom left and bottom right corner of the lock screen. So as you can see again by default it's going to be the phone and camera application but maybe we don't need quick access to the camera application so we can just go into the settings application and you're going to want to scroll down a bit till you see the lock screen and security option. And then the third section in here is labeled lock screen and always on display. And then there is an option here called app shortcuts. So this will give us a preview of the current lock screen on our device. And again, by default, the phone will be on the left side, the camera on the right. But again, say if we wanted to change the camera and say we wanted to put Chrome there instead. All we have to do is tap the right shortcut, change it to Chrome, change it to Gallery, change it to whatever we want. And as soon as that's changed, we can look at the lock screen. Now we can see the phone application shortcut is on the left side and the Chrome application shortcut icon is on the right. We can change this to anything we want, whether it is a first party application such as the Gallery or the My Files or even a third-party application that we have downloaded from the Play Store such as Pushbullet. And these work just like normal. All you have to do is tap and swipe on that specific application icon and you can see that the phone will open up to that application. Depending on what application you set here will depend on if you need to unlock the device or not. Android will let you do things like place a phone call or take a photo without having to unlock the device, but you will not be able to see the contacts or see the other photos that have been taken without unlocking the device. Same thing as if we if we set this when we set this to the My Files or another application like Pushbullet it will require you to unlock the device before it will actually launch the application. It only works like that on this one because I do not have a lock screen set up at this time. So that is how to customize the lock screen application shortcuts on the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S9 Plus.